give a your great presentation about my new year. Okay, so uh, now is uh, April the 9th. It's very close to my new year. So in this year, is it on the 13th or the 14th of the month? And what have you prepared at home right now? Um, in this year, the Khmer year is that the 14th of the month. And for Khmer year, I prepare, um, I'm also prepare, I'm also prepare, um, I also clean my house and buy fruit, drink, and flower and other things need to prepare to welcome the new angel. And I also prepare the table that have the fruit, drink, and other thing on the table. Um, on the table, and I also decorate the light around the table to need to prepare to welcome the new angel. That's all. Thank you very much. Okay, Sean. Yes, I want to ask. Um, since this is a the very first my new year uh, I'll, I'll ever experience and uh, that i will experience in cambodia it's my first of my new year um what do you think uh is the most important thing that i should know going going into it um um the, um the special about my new year is on mohas and Kran day that people welcome the new angel and they also play my traditional game to on Mohasan Grandi. That's all. Okay, thank you very much. First of all, I would like to pay my higher respect to teacher Kinsodika, school director of Speak Up Online. Honorable judges, teacher, and participant. Good up. Good evening. My name is Budmini Mia. I'm 14 years old. I'm studying English at Speak Up Online. Today, I'm very excited to be standing here and present to all of you one of my remarkable topic, which mention about my new year. Without further ado, let me start my presentation. If you are an active person and you do not have my time to read a lengthy book or article about my new year, this article is just for you. In this article, we are going to share with you some basic information about Khmer New Year, highlighting two main aspects, an overview of Khmer New Year and the common festival activity. In the last part, there are some useful greetings that you can learn too. Khmer New Year is one of the most important traditional festivals in Cambodia. It is a very enjoyable time of the year. This festival is celebrated in April annually. It lasts for three days and falls on either the 13th or the 14th of the month. The first day is called Mohasan Grand, the second day is called Wonabot, and the last day is called Langsak. A few days before Khmer New Year arrival, people normally clean their house and buy fruit and other things need to prepare to welcome the new angel. On Mohasan Grand Day, people welcome the new angel by making offering. On one about day, some people offer charity by helping the poor, servants, or homeless, or some go to monastery to pay respect to their ancestors and offer food to the monks. On Lang Sat Day, some people clean their statue of Buddha with sand water or wash the feet of their elder to get blessing in return. During this occasion, students and business professionals in both the private and public sector are entitled to some day off. Some business people also close their shop or companies to celebrate this festival with their family. The city become quieter during this time. It is busier and full of fun in the provinces as people travel to their hometown. Some spend their holiday in the resort outside the city. Also at some pagoda, especially in the rural area, people play my traditional game 
for example bo ong phon le kan sang ting kroat chao chung and big arm what's more in some villages the villagers through party and do kmai dancing together with their family and neighbor last but not least expression greeting during this occasion is both important and meaningful what people normally wish each other on this auspicious occasion is happy new year so stay chat mai in khmai also they may say i wish you good luck ខ្ញុំ chun po ne ao mien sok pok phiep ao mien san nang lao and i wish you good health ខ្ញុំ chun po ne ao mien sok pok phiep lao that's all thank you for your attention okay thank